help me. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Hold on. We can do this one. This one we can do. Ow! I can't wait to hear how that sounded. Please help. I can't take this. Welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Doki Doki Literature Club. Roteether says, binary data in VM2. I've made some new headway with VM2. Don't get too excited. It's still impossible to establish any kind of stable connection, but it occurred to me that I could run at least memory run a memory dump through some pattern analysis routines to see if we can decipher any digital data from their VM. I didn't want to hog all the server time on a hunch, but I have some preliminary results that indicate the presence of binary computer systems. Based on this, I'm going to schedule three days of server time next week to isolate any chunks of memory that appear to be binary data. If successful, we'll definitely be able to find some encoded text and get our first tiny glimpse of VM2. Don't mind me, though. Just keep going nuts on VM1, and hopefully I'll have more to share soon. What does this mean? What does this mean? What are you saying, Ro? What, is he, what are you talking about? So VM2, they don't seem to have access to? The... <laughs> If successful, we'll definitely be able to find some encoded text and get our first tiny glimpse of VM2. What? 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 All right. Well, so this is going to be next week, right? I'm going to schedule three days of server time next week. Uh, and this is all this time. What day was this? What? Let's look up. Tw hold on a second. L hold on a second. All right. December 2nd, uh, 2019. Ah, the before times. Uh, we have, it was a Monday, the 2nd. So all the way through, so the 6th was Friday, which we have here. And then we have 7th, then we have 8th, which was a Sunday, 9th, which was Monday, and I've last just to have a nice weekend. I'm going to leave the rest of the week. Uh, contact revenue to schedule server time. Well, I think that they've already... <laughs> <laughs> kind of got that set up. They already know what they're doing for the server. But I don't know. I think maybe reading these in order might be helpful. I'll go through all that later, though. For now, we have a side story to finish. It's self-love. We're going to begin it. I'm excited. You're excited. We're back at the book staircase. Well, it's a book staircase because they read books. But it's the staircase, not the bookcase. Sorry, everyone. Hey. Oh, hello. I almost thought you weren't coming today. Yeah, well, lunch is already more than halfway over. Natsuki had typically been meeting Yuri in the stairwell dur much earlier, since it had been a good way of dodging her friends when she didn't feel like seeing them. Today, she's holding a large plastic container in both hands. I ran into my friends, so I hung out with them for a while. Is that so? Yeah, I was in a good mood today, so I figured I should. I hadn't seen them in a while which I had to come up with an excuse for, but I expected it. Plus, I have way more of these than I know what to deal with, so I figured I would share them with you too. As she sits down, Natsuki opens the lid of her container. You made cupcakes? You know it. It's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time again. You can take one if you want. Yuri takes a cupcake and carefully twirls it between her fingers like, a, like she's a magician with a pen or something. Weird. It's brown, with dark frosting immaculately shaped into a floral pattern and topped with some kind of glittery powder. How pretty. I just ate, so I may not be able to finish it. Are they for the club? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't really think about it. I just made them. <laughs> ah, I just thought that because green is Monica's favorite color, all right? Well, yeah, but that's not really. Yuri takes a small bite. This is green tea flavored. Hmm. I love green tea. Oh. Do you? It was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm, I'm not. I just felt happy. Oh, sorry. Usually when... Never mind. <laughs> what I mean is that I'm glad. Sorry for saying dumb things again. I just wanted to do something nice. Stupid, stupid, Natsuki. <laughs> and this is something I have to be good at. And I do know that you like them from past experience. 
Mmm. He returns red, recalling the time she treated herself rather generously to Natsuki's cupcake. Oh, yeah. They made a reference to that. But did they make a reference to that in the main game? Or was it in these side stories? Time is a flat circle. Ah. Let me out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ironically, her mouth is too full of cupcake for her to stammer an excuse. So she just settles for a disapproving look. Probably this one. That's probably the look. She's got the look. How did you get into baking? Oh, well, I don't know. It just kind of always appealed to me. Well, a few years ago, I... Well, a few years ago... Well, a few years ago, I read this one manga with a lot of baking, so I got, like, super into it for a while. Was probably making stuff almost every day. But it's something that I always knew I liked anyway. It's like, baking isn't, is like, what? <laughs> but when you get good at it, it gets more delicious, too. I'm struggling to imagine myself putting my heart into something so artistic, knowing that it would just be eaten afterwards. Ah, ha, ha, yeah, maybe you're too practical for it. I think I prefer to be on the receiving end. Yuri, please. I can only handle so much hilariousness in my life. That's my other favorite part about it. It's something I could do that makes a lot of people happy. Like, unconditionally happy. Well, I wouldn't say unconditionally. They might not like whatever you're making. You might, like, make... I don't know. Friggin' something I don't like. As For example... <laughs> Everyone is always so thankful, and in that moment, you get to be like the bringer of joy. Usually, I'm the bringer of death. I don't know, it just makes me feel... Valued? Yeah, I guess death. So you were able to make up with your friends today, hmm? There wasn't really anything to make up with about them. We weren't really fighting or anything. You weren't? Maybe I misunderstood. It only turns into a fight if I lose my cool, and it's just a necessary dram. It only makes things worse. So, they're not going to stop? I mean, it only happens sometimes anyway. It's just the way they are. <laughs> you should hear about my father. <laughs> then you'd really have a problem. <laughs> uh, it's just the way they are. I'm the only one who ever has a problem with it. It's not worth it. Especially since I have somewhere to go now when I don't feel like hanging out with them. Oh, I see. So I'm just an escape for you. The cupcake, empty foil wrapper, audibly crinkles as Yuri clenches a fist. I'm glad that the situation is resolved and that you don't have to avoid them anymore. Yeah, me too. Are you okay? And I don't have to bother you during your alone time anymore. I'm sure you have a lot of reading the ketchup on. Yeah, ketchup and mustard. I do have that. I know that the cupcakes are basically nothing compared to all the stuff you've done for me, but it's the best I could do, so you can have the rest of them. Natsuki grabs the box and slides it over to Yuri's feet. Yuri stares at the box, then she shakes her head and slides them back. You should save them for your other friends, but I made them for you. Natsuki's voice whines as she protests. I know, and I like them very much, exactly as you thought. You succeeded. But I know you care about making your other friends happy, too. And if this is the way you know how to make that happen, then I'm not going to take it from you. No, they were for making you happy. You make me happy. You're worth more cupcakes to some people. That's why they want to spend time with you and be your friend. Without warning, tears pour from Natsuki's eyes. She pulls her knees to her chest and starts sobbing into her arms. Natsuki, I'm such a bad person. Um, Yuri stammers, feeling panicked. I didn't mean to say something bad. Natsuki shakes her head and wipes her eyes. You didn't. I just... I can't keep this up. We have to bring the energy down. It's ramping, and it's hurtling towards a bridge that has nothing at the end of it, and it's just me going, Wah! And I'm not about that. We're going to bring it down. It's not the movie Speed. We don't have to go 55 miles per hour the whole time. That's a good movie. That's a good movie. Natsuki tries to choke back her sobs, but struggles to speak through them. I just really hate this. Helps, helped, uh, helps. And it feels so wrong when you say those nice things to me. <laughs> like I don't deserve it. I'm sorry. No, I am. I'm so difficult and I can't think of even a single thing about myself that somebody would like. 
and I hated myself for bothering you during lunch. I just thought it was my chance to be a good person, like to be nice and do the things you wrote about in the letter. I know if I tried in the club, Sayori and Monica would be super annoying and make a huge deal out of it. You know, I think a lot of those negative things too, about myself and about you. <laughs> I never felt like a good person. I always scrutinize everything I say, and later I feel like I said all the wrong things in all the wrong places. And I just spend so much time thinking about myself, hating myself, and feeling like everyone else must hate me too. So, I understand some, some of that through my own experience. And that's why I wanted to write the letter and express my feelings. It pained me to see those things in someone else that I saw in myself. Natsuki sniffles. <laughs> Yuri rustles through her bag and pulls out some tissues, then hands them to Natsuki. Monica told me to take it. It takes a good person to reflect on those things. The desire to improve yourself <laughs> that makes you a good person. So don't worry so much. Also, there are things about you that people would like, so... So shut up about it. Like what? Tell me. <laughs> hmm. Like... Like how you're fun for people to be around. And you're not shy. And you know how to make people laugh. <laughs> We've had some good times together. And you're very passionate about things. And you know how to take the lead. And you care a lot about other people. And just, I don't know, a lot of things. Oh, is that all? <laughs> well, now you're making me feel really embarrassed. You shouldn't have said any of that stuff, Yuri. Bam. <laughs> well, you're the one who asked. And don't you think I feel embarrassed? Natsuki tries to hide a smile. Then sighs as it fades again. Every time I come here, I always think it's the last time. But I just don't know how to quit you, Yuri. Is that bad? Hmm. Just really confusing. I mean, my friends and I go way back, so ditching them all the time feels like... I don't know. Feels like what? Natsuki's voice gets quiet. Maybe I'm scared that they'll get mad at me. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really know what to do. She pauses. Yuri, she pauses. That's weird for them to not say Natsuki pauses. Yuri stares into the distance. Well, looks like she's staring at Natsuki, but that's fine. Tracing her eyes along the patterns of the floor tiles while she thinks to herself, what would you do? What would you do, hypothetically, if your friends were happy for you instead of mad at you? Happy for what? I don't understand. Happy that your new club is making you happy. Well, that doesn't compute. That's just not a fair hypothetical. Natsuki says that with a little confidence in her voice. I always told myself that I don't rely on the approval of others to be happy. And I still feel that way. But I'm spending time with people who put me down whenever I don't have their approval. That's probably what's making me feel so confused. Because uh, I'm threatened out of the things that should make me happy. So no matter what, it's like I have to be unhappy to be happy. I kind of feel that way with the internet. <laughs> There's just, like, a whole bunch of stuff that I'm like, oh, I love this thing. And then it's just like, no, it's terrible. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess it's terrible then. Uh, so, Netherboard is it happy. It's making my head hurt. You must, that must make it really difficult to feel comfortable with yourself. Being made to feel like you're wrong just for being the person you are. It, it really goes against everything I believe in, doesn't it? It goes against the kind of person I want to be. I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with a lot of things. And I'm fed up with these damn cupcakes. And she kicks them. And Yuri says, no! And just starts grabbing them off the ground. Natsuki presses her palms into her forehead and shakes her hand. Shakes her hand. Shakes her head. I guess she'd be shaking her hand, too, because she's doing that. I know what's best for me, but I keep convincing myself out of it. It's so much easier to be comfortably unhappy than it is to do something so scary. To do what? You know, to end it. Oh, jeez. With them? Natsuki nods. I didn't think you were actively I didn't think you were actively considering that as an option. I wasn't until recently. It's just one of those things where like it's been a certain way for so long that you just get used to it. Like, so much of you is going into it. So much that it feels like that's just how your life is. And throwing it away is like throwing away such a big part of your life. It makes me feel sick to think of that. Natsuki sighs. <sighs> it's just Really scary. It's terrifying. What are you scared of? I don't know. A lot of things. Like being alone. Not having anyone to talk to. Or hang out with. Not being able to replace what I have with them. 
and I don't want them to hate me. I'm scared they'll hurt me for going against them. Physically? Not physically. But... Here he clenches her fist. Natsuki, what? If anyone thinks to cause you harm, I will unleash hell upon them. Okay. Okay. Natsuki snorts and laughs. <laughs> don't don't laugh at me. Nah, sorry. I was just. I liked it. That's all. Oh, well, I meant it. I know you did. Natsuki gives Yuri an endearing look. I needed it. Hmm. Mm. As the conversation lapses, Natsuki again slides her box of cupcakes over to Yuri. Just take them, okay? I don't I don't want other people to have them anymore. Are you sure? Natsuki nods. I'm sure. I will then. I'll enjoy them. Natsuki looks away, but a feeling of warmth spreads through her. Whoa. She holds on to that feeling, knowing it will give her courage. Oh, God. What's going to happen next? Ah, you're here first today. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. We have not been into the literature club in this side story, either part of them. Uh, I think we were outside in the hallway when it first started, uh, and then Yuri just left. Pretty sure that's correct. We didn't actually go in. Uh... Mm -hmm. And you brought reading material. Mm -hmm. Natsuki is sitting in her usual spot, this time hiding a volume of manga while her lunch sits beside her. You know, Yuri was complaining about her back problems in the main game. I'm thinking that sitting on these stairs every day is probably part of the reason why. This can't be good for you, right? Uh, Natsuki is sitting in her usual spot, this time holding a volume of manga while her lunch sits beside her. Don't remember if I read that or not. Yuri sits down as well and opens her own book. It sucks when a good series has to come to an end. Like Doki Doki Literature Club Plus Side Stories. It's like such a big part of your life, and then one day there's just nothing left, and it makes it feel so empty. Unfortunately, I'm about to experience that myself. I'm on the last book of this series. That sucks. But there's something also something satisfying about letting a story conclude. I don't know if I'd want it to go on forever. Maybe. But there are some things that I wish I could. On the other hand, have you ever read something that overstayed its welcome? No comment. Yeah, definitely. I can think of it was at least one thing I've read that got pretty unbearable like halfway through and the ending really sucked. So it sucks when something good has to come to an end, but it also sucks when they just keep inventing more plot until you don't like it anymore. I'm looking at you, Game of Thrones. I know I was just saying that I hate when the internet just shits on things that I like. Game of Thrones is different. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, I guess it sucks either way. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the nature of all things. They come to an end. The two fall silent. They look into the camera. They're like, and this has been DDLC. They slowly eat while making out. Oh, sorry. While making their way through their respective reading material. <laughs> My bad. Except Natsuki doesn't seem to be touching her food at all. You don't go out during the weekends, right? Excuse me? Like with friends at the mall or downtown or whatever. I'm not a total shut-in, you know. Oh, not bad for making assumptions. Well, I'm sure I go out less than other people, like you and the others in the club. I don't really meet with friends and arbitrarily spend time like that. I'm usually happy with my board game group. Board game group? It, it doesn't matter. It's just more nerdy stuff. What do you ask, anyway? I was just curious. I just realized that I couldn't picture it, so I was just curious. Yuri looks at Natsuki and realizes she's shaking. Don't look at me like that. Sorry. Natsuki pulls her knees to her chest and puts her head down. I can't take this. Did I do something? Yuri gets flustered, her mind racing over what she may have said or done. I did. I ended it. I texted them earlier, telling them. And then I just blocked them because I'm so afraid of the responses. What I'm trying to say is, I'm single now, Yuri. Let's go for it. <laughs> she grabs her wrist, runs up the stairs, and Yuri's like, Wah! flying behind her like a cartoon. Ah. <sighs> I wish I could make animation. <laughs> I think I'm just talking about fanfic at this point. Uh, and then I just blocked them because I was so afraid of the responses. Yada, yada, yada. And now it feels like I'm dying inside. Ow! That's... Hmm. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, no. 
totally unsure of what to do. Yuri can barely find any words to support or we're going to get another CG or whatever they're called. Another uh, CG. Uh, Yuri can barely find any words of support to offer. Meanwhile, the sound of Natsuki's unusually hard breathing fills the air. <sighs> then she speaks again, barely of above a whisper. Help me. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Hold on. We can do this one. This one we can do. Ow! I can't wait to hear how that sounded. Please help. I can't take this. You may be having a panic attack. With that realization, Yuri's demeanor suddenly changes. I, I have experience with this, so I'll help you through it, okay? Natsuki meekly nods through her rapid breath, head still buried in her knees. Yuri slides herself over to Natsuki, whoop, and sits on a step behind her. Then she puts her hand on Natsuki's shoulders. Can you feel my hands, Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki nods, her shaking becomes much more apparent through Yuri's sense of touch. Yuri keeps her voice low and gentle. You're safe right now. You're in a good and safe place where nothing can hurt you. Nothing, Natsuki. Natsuki nods once more. Although Yuri is only touching Natsuki's shoulders, she can practically feel her racing pulse through the base of her neck. We'll do a breathing exercise together. All you have to do is listen to my breathes and breathe along with me. Just breathe, Natsuki. Let's breathe in now. Yuri takes a deep, slow breath beneath her hands. She feels Natsuki's shoulders rise as Natsuki takes a breath of her own, trying to mimic Yuri. They exhale together, although Natsuki's breath shakes on the way out. <sighs> That's good. Let's keep going. Yuri breathes in once more and Natsuki joins her. They continue like that for a few more cycles while Yuri closely monitors. Okay. Eventually, Yuri feels Natsuki rest more of her weight into Yuri's palms. Let's focus on the physical world. All you have to do is focus on the feeling of your breathes going in and out, and the weight of my hands on your shoulders. You're in a safe and comfortable physical space. Whoa, okay. I guess we're back. I thought we were going to CG. I have a CG. I want it. Give it to me. Minutes pass in silence by now. The rest, the worst of it has passed, but Yuri is determined not to move away until Natsuki prompts her to. Meanwhile, Natsuki has her lifted her head off her knees, and her breathing is mostly steadied. Then, she takes a final deep breath, <gasps> and slowly pulls herself to her feet, causing Yuri to let go. She stretches her arms. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak out. I don't know what my deal is. You don't have to apologize. Besides, it's too late to apologize. This must be enormously stressful for you. Is that going to keep happening? It may, or it may not. I am Yuri the Wise. <laughs> we can take measures to help prevent it in the future, but I think it will naturally get better over time. Natsuki motions to sit back down, so Yuri moves over. Yuri turns away to pick up her open book from the dusty floor, which she had hastily set down earlier. She brushes the dust off the cover. I don't... I don't think I could have gotten through that alone. Aw. How sweet. You're not alone. Feeling shy again, Yuri speaks into her own lap. From now on. You don't have to... From now on! <laughs> you don't have to do anything alone. Aw. So sweet. As she says that, Yuri tenses up. It's rare to her for her to openly so much share her feelings and thoughts. But something about Natsuki, of all people, makes it feel so much more natural to do so. Perhaps because, like Yuri, Natsuki is so timid and uncertain of herself. Uh, Natsuki does a good job at hiding it, that she's been taking a long time for Yuri to finally realize it. And because of that, Yuri is able to deliver the reassurance that she herself would have wanted, demonstrating that you deserve the love of others. If you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you could begin the tumultuous journey of learning to love yourself. There it is. There it is. Wow, this is, I, this game is so good. It's just so good. Like, look, look. Do you really mean that? <laughs> Something about your uh, Natsuki's uh, proportions seem a little weird though. Like, is her head giant? 
I don't know. You're probably going to regret saying that if you do. How so? Because I'm probably going to have a lot of free time during the weekends from now on. So you're giving me permission to be as annoying as I want and drag you around to a lot of places. I see. But you already said it, so no take backsies. Ah, well, I suppose I have no choice but to accept that responsibility then. I'm super yuri. Mm-hmm. I know a good ice cream place. Oh, that means you'll finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. It's green tea. Oh, wait. Oh, did she get it wrong then? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember? The first day you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor. But for me, you said you had no idea. Didn't you say green tea, though? Seriously? I don't remember that at all. Oh, you see? Well, right there then. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I said it was probably green tea. Yuri shakes her head. It's a good guess, but my favorite is usually to get chocolate and raspberry together. Chocolate and raspberry. How fancy. How is that fancy? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I should have guessed something like that. Well... Maybe next time I'll try chocolate and strawberry. Hey, strawberry's my favorite. It matches my hair. Hmm, what a coincidence. It helps to have something to look forward to. I still have the sick feeling in my stomach, but it's easier now to convince myself that I did the right thing. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not that I know of. There's nothing that will make this easy for me. You already did more than I thought anyone could. Mmm, mmm. Come to think of it, we never talked about the letter you wrote, but I feel like we're way past that at this point. I don't even know how, what to talk about, <laughs> except that I think it helped me understand my needs a little bit better. I like the way I like to be treated and the kinds of friends that I want to have. That's why I wanted to start coming here in the first place, even though I was so scared of causing more problems. I thought I thought it was a coincidence you ran into me here initially. Uh, 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 <clears throat> I gotta go! <laughs> well, no, not exactly. What do you mean? Nothing. She came to sit by you because you wrote her a letter. Duh. I may have tracked you down first with the help of Sayori. That's... But you said... I was shy, okay? I wasn't ready to like... Whatever, you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess... I'm glad you worked up the courage. Even if it was in your own way. I can tell that you've been making a lot of difficult decisions. It's brave. And it will help uh, things better in the long run. I think anyone would be proud of you for it. Anyone? Anyone but me, that is. You mean, like you? No, I specifically just said that, Yuri. Oh, wait, I, I think I'm getting my voices confused. Yes, like me. Aw, oh, she's proud of her. You know, I could get used to this. <laughs> as long as, as long as you don't tease me too much. Fine. Oh, I could get used to this. As long as you don't tease me too much. Ah, uh, fine. Just a little then. Just a little tease. Just a little, little tease. That's fine. They're best friends now. Yay! Someone gonna die. Is anyone gonna die horrifically? I know how much... I know how uncertain everything feels to you right now. But I really do think that good things are in store. Those are my honest feelings. Thanks. It feels nice to be reassured. Fading out. The two girls continue their conversation through the remainder of lunch, but a new feeling hangs in the air. A feeling of greater certainty in their path forward. In just a few hours, there will be another literature club meeting where the four club members will happily spend time together. But this time, they'll be joined by a new person. A player character. The Sayori brings. That, 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 that you play in the, in the game. It's the main game. It's... It's the for, for main one. Doki Doki Literature Club. The game that you play. Anyway. Each of them, all with their own special qualities, have something unique that they can deliver to one another. Through friendship and literature, the club members will continue to grow and find new happiness together. The end of each chapter is the start of the next. Yuri thinks to herself, since she's about to finish her long-running series, it would be best to have a new book lined up. Perhaps this weekend would be a good time to visit the bookstore. Okay. Together. Oh, with, with uh, who said that? Yuri? With Natsuki, then. Okay, we unlocked a new picture. Here it is. A scene from Side Story Self-Love. Wait a minute. Then what's all this nonsense? Whoa, okay. All right. 
What? There's a new one. There's a new secret one. There's a secret one. Now, let's review at the top of this where it says, to get all six side stories, try writing poems for different characters and viewing their special scenes in DDLC. Six side stories. What's this then? What's all this then? We'll find out in the next one. Thanks for watching. We're doing another one, baby. Episode 14. We thought we were done. Well, this was the one we thought we were done. When I'm saying episode 14, I meant we're doing another one. Episode 14. New sentence. We thought we were done. But we never will be. Uh, so I guess thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for more exciting DDLC Plus ventures. We're going to do equals. We'll be equals. Finally. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again. Stay spooky out there, everybody. And remember, keep watching.